No, I don't want one of those things. It's really nice. What, what is going on in here? Explain to everybody what has happened here. Tequila ginger beer. It's what? very, very good. And what's your big, what's your complaint? I'm having one of those evenings, probably because of a tequila, where I want to eat all the food. Well, how many tequilas have you had? This is my second. I'd like to make you one if you let me. No, I don't want anything to do with your... That's what I'm calling my quarantine what? cocktail. It's not even caught. Cool. You, you've literally fallen off the wagon, haven't you? It's because I did hit today, so my metabolism's gone through the roof, no, and no. I want to eat everything. No, just, the tequila is in my calories. Just stay away from snack corner. Yeah, but maybe you should stop buying so many snacks. It's not <laughs> snacks. There's no such thing as snacks. Look, I'm in my calories. All right. I just want kettle chips. All right, calm down. I've tried to resist doing this the you entire time. No, I don't want a quarantine cocktail. All right, I might have a quarantine cocktail. Um, we have resisted the entire time we've been doing this um, quarantine to try not to do a vlog, but I'm bored. <laughs> I've got nothing to do. So we're gonna share our adventures and what we get up to. I mean, there aren't any adventures, um, but we're gonna share our daily routine, our training, our fun, and just talk about stuff. And you can set us some challenges if you'd like, some competitions, Hi. some Mr. and Mrs. We're we'll gonna do it all. Chloe's not, in not involved, but she's also involved. Um, but yeah, we'll come back later with a few views. <laughs> You're a terrible person, a terrible person. How are you getting on in here? I got upset watching the news. You're crying again? What do you mean again? Well, you like crying. You're a big crier. What do you mean again? No, not today, but you like to cry. It's upsetting. Do you like to cry out of one out of ten? Ten I, being someone I'm cries like, every I'm, day. I'm an openly emotional person and <laughs> you can't handle it. Well, I am. I'm emotionally open. It's really emotional. It is emotional. I'm watching the NHS staff talk about how I can't because I'm going to cry. Oh, again. what? Come on. Come on just give me a little <laughs> Don't give me cupboard come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> I'll give you a hug. Come on. It's okay. No, you need to tell me. Look at the zoom on my face. <laughs> Okay, it's a bit of mosh. We have to tune out here. But this is, again, this is part of the quarantine journey. <laughs> what? Crying at the yeah, news? Yeah, Chloe drinks a couple of tequilas and has a cry. And I... That's not why I'm crying. I'm crying because they're, they're talking about how I can't get out <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's just so impressive and, like, overwhelming. And, yeah. Well, we're going to clap soon. We'll be outside clapping, won't we? Eight o'clock. Yeah. Clap it. We've been out there every day. I sort of feel like my efforts were a bit undervalued when Captain, amazing Captain Tom's Not kind of raised 30. This weird like <laughs> career jealousy with Captain Tom. Captain want Tom's everyone like, to love him as much as they love Captain Tom. It's never going to happen. Yeah, Captain Tom's kind of completed life and I'm a bit like, I don't, I want to do more for people, but I volunteered, but it didn't you take me a lot. Offer. We, you do a lot. We've done a lot. Oh yeah, we raised 15 grand for charity. We did that. I put the wrong lens on this, so it's super zoomy, but we'll no, change can it. We not, dude. No, like, I'm crying, I have no <laughs> makeup on, and you coming in and Yeah, zoomed fine, in. but we raised 15 grand for Sebastian's Action Trust, and you can still donate now. Uh, they're helping families all the time with um, uh, terminally ill children and children with massive disabilities, so um, they're still working. They're trying to take pressure off, pressure off the NHS. So yeah. we have done some good deeds. We've done loads of Skype bits. Yeah, we've done. I, I, I've done a lot. You've done a lot. We've done a lot, but it, I mean, I don't think. Well, all right, I don't gonna... like it when people talk about all the charity all right. work they do. I'm like, fuck off, just all do right. it. <laughs> all right, well. Just do it and shut up. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to just change lens and we'll see you later, though. But I'm sorry you're crying. I love you. You should watch the news. I don't want to watch the news. I read the paper. I don't read the paper. I look at the news in the morning. You do, I know you do. And I look at the apps. I know what's going on. <laughs> sort of. I know that Donald Trump's a complete pl... Well, this is episode one of our quarantine diary i'm going to call it um chloe and i have been on best behavior now for six weeks seven weeks something like that and we've approached it very differently um she is kind of absolutely smashing the work doing the online training um doing online coaching uh with with people getting them in shape and kind of finishing her book plans i on the other hand haven't really had a lot to do and i'm not very good at doing stuff not really good at doing dealing with things when I haven't got stuff to do. Obviously, I always stay motivated. I'm one of these people that actually just takes one day at a time, so it hasn't really stressed me out. Just sometimes I found myself a bit bored and like freaking out that I should be doing stuff because I think there's obviously a lot of pressure in this quarantine to make the most of it because we're never going to have uh, a time like this again in our lives. So I've been doing a lot of DJ live streams. 
which has been really good. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do and I never got around to doing it. And I've done about six, seven now, which has been great. Some have been for charity, some have been for some company, some have been for my own amusement. And that's been really fulfilling and people have been tuning in and enjoying their Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights, which I really liked. Um, and I've been training every day. Obviously, I was preparing for my first MMA fight for Bellator, but that's not happening for the moment, for the foreseeable future. We don't know what's going to happen with all this um, lockdown stuff, where it's going to go. So I've been training every day, combination of kind of cardio mainly to stay in shape and then, uh, well, to stay fit, I should say, um, weights. Uh, every other day and then I've been putting myself in a hole um, you know on the watt bike on the Versa climber which I kind of enjoy that so at least I feel like I've ticked something off um, I watched a Navy SEAL an ex-Navy SEAL or a Navy SEAL general I think it was or a, a general that used to be Navy SEAL and he talked about always making your bed as being the first thing to do in the morning and the priority of the day um, and I we used to always make my bed obviously because I went to boarding school and I just always made my bed and I think it's quite nice during the school quarantine every morning I make sure I make it pristine because if I haven't done anything else at the end of the day, uh, so if I haven't done anything else the rest of the day, when you go to bed at least you've achieved one thing which is making your bed and you're coming back to a made bed which is always nice and if you wake up in the morning and do it, it's the first task of the day, humans react well to ticking tasks off so what I've tried to do is stick to a routine the entire time I've been here so I used to get up about 8.30. Eat breakfast, then go and train, and then let the workday start after that. So that's what I've carried on doing. Chloe and I have, have, have continued to do that. We've obviously laxed a little bit. Um, I don't know how everyone's avoiding the day drinking. That is quite hard to do. So we've done the, the clapping every single week because um, obviously what the NHS is doing is incredible. Early. It's not all too early. I'm just chatting. Three I'm chatting to my camera friend. Relax. Um, and obviously what the NHS does, it does is insane and we're so lucky uh, to have them in this country and I think that it's so important to show uh, everybody um, who risks their lives. Like, you know, people talk about sports people and uh, like actors and everything else like that as being like heroes and stuff. But obviously people like the NH on the NHS are legit heroes, like every day going to work, saving people's lives, you know, sometimes under-equipped, under pressure, underpaid hugely and they go and smash it and i think it's so important that we um we mark this occasion and it's now two minutes to go before we clap but we're in the middle of nowhere so i don't know if anyone's going to actually or everyone actually hears us but i think it's an important gesture to do so every thursday we've been on it like a car bonnet um and obviously you know what captain tom did i just love that dude 100 operating around 100 laps just an absolute hero like i'll be joking with chloe i'm really jealous now that he's he's achieved more <laughs> in in however long he's done than i'll ever do um and i think it's amazing 140,000 birthday cards a number one single a world record and 30 31 million for the nhs which is just unbelievable so hopefully when we come out the other side of this everyone's going to change their opinion of, of the national health service because it's what separates this country um and I think, you know, when the world, the other side of this is going to be so different. And it's kind of scary, but also exciting, because I think it's an opportunity for us to do things way better than we've done them before. Um, but I was listening to the news now, America's got 30 million unemployed people. That is scary. Chloe, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Why are you saying it? It's not eight yet. It's, come on, hey, come on, it's so close. <sighs> Countdown. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> As excited as it gets, no fighting, no DJing tonight. I've got chili con carne. Oh, ready? Woo! It's eight flour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's just drowned out by your weapon. What, my big clappy hands? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love it. We need an instrument. We, do, we, need, we, need, a DJ. we need like a band or like a thing to go with it.
<laughs> been outclapped on kids next door. You've been defeated. There we are. Boom. It's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> fresh, fresh, fresh from the clapping. <laughs> yes, Corona. Because you can't catch coronavirus from Corona. Thanks, stupid people. Chili con carne. Sexy wife. Clapping done. I seriously like lactic build up. I know. <laughs> I had to get, it does me every week. It's like, ooh. My hands. I, I love that though. I love the fact that legitimately. Right, we got to we go outside and every week. It just gets more and more and more and more people. Yeah, but we live in the middle of a field. Yeah, but still, you can no. still hear it. Everybody's doing you it. You should see what happens in London and like Manchester. It's crazy. It's insane. Well, that's almost the end of our first video. Oh, it was so thrilling. I'm sure people are going to love it. Well, not with that attitude, they won't love it. Chew. You've got so much chew. You look very beautiful though. Oh. Have you calmed down the emotion now? Come on, let me give you a little oh. bit. Hey, come on. Come on, emotional. You're really patronising. I'm not, I'm not. You had a big day. You got emotion. Because <laughs> the NHS are heroes. I did a video about it. I, I talked about it. <laughs> You're like, I'm on board with I'm it. I'm on board with it. I'm across it. I'm across how what heroes they are. So I'm just going to eat my chilli con carne and drink my beer because the clapping was quite tiring and that's pretty much the most I've achieved today. <laughs> yeah, just as much as the NHS. Well done, you. <laughs> Wait, pff, flat out saving lives here. <laughs> I'm just going to go and get a pudding. Why were you mocking me then? Because you have like 17. <laughs> 17 what? Are what you not do middle-aged women eat thinking that it's going to get them in shape? HRT. No. Rivita. <laughs> yes. Slim fast. What else? Cottage cheese. Yeah, what else? Salad nice What else? Well, no. <laughs> I don't know what else. Yogurts. <laughs> Muller, Muller fruit corners. Which <laughs> James has bought in bulk. On mass, I think you've got about. Hang on, wait, hang on. Maybe what fourteen in the fridge? I've gone back to my roots during this quarantine. I, I like yogurt. Woman. I like yogurt. I said to James on our first date, and I still say it today. You are a middle-aged W.I. Woman. <laughs> I love. He loves smaller fruit corner. No, I don't. I just love yogurts. He does. Um, and he's like a stickler for the rules. If I try and get him to push in somewhere with me, he's like, no, we have to queue. Chloe thinks I'm an old, old WI old woman. Or if I try to get him to like walk on a wall around a fountain, he's like, get off the wall, get off the wall. He's get like, off the grass. He's an old woman. Get off the grass. Yeah. You know. But also, I, I, I mocked you earlier for getting a little bit emotional. I got very emotional and teary when Captain Tom and the NHS clapping stuff came on, didn't I? It's really emotional. It's like when you see like... Um... No, but I actually got full emotion. Yeah. And you said it was good to be in touch with my emotions. Yeah, but... Not I haven't then, cried for a while. But now, but now you're trying to cash in on them, which makes it... Which so no, I'm just sharing. It. No, no, no. I'm sharing. No, you're not. You're cashing in. <laughs> Everybody no, 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 no. I was genuinely tearful, but I didn't record it because we were having a moment. So I'm just telling everyone that I, I mocked you earlier and that I made a mistake and it's important to get in touch with your emotions. I know. Why do I, I get some punched in the face on this? Because your chat's so thing. shit, it's probably liable to happen. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to get my... Show and they're not, everyone the lamp I They're bought. not Muller Fruit Corner. Thank you, John Lewis, for not including the light bulbs <laughs> in the lamp, which cost me like is 300 quid. Is that a thing, though? Is that a thing? that Do they normally include lamps, light bulbs? Well, they should. And also, they're not Muller Corners. They're the ones with like the chocolate and the, and the flakes. They're not the fruit. I'm not that old. Boy, she's coming at me. Gone for a Cadbury's flake corner. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it, babe. Hey? And that's not ours, that came with the house. And I just can't be able to take it down because I don't know what's behind it. Um, yeah, so I haven't gone for a, gone for the flake flower. Unlucky babe. It's the next morning. We actually finished off Chili con carne, NHS celebration night in a reasonable fashion. Had a row about um, the thermostat. Uh, Chloe okay, likes I it. No, I didn't touch the thermostat at all. I left it exactly how James likes it. And then I got the mini heater that my dad bought me and put it in the living room. Yeah, with me, to be warm. And James got angry because I wasn't warm. Right. And, well, I, and it didn't affect you at all. Well, you know, you say potato, I say potato. You say no, tomato, no, I say no. tomato. Um, Did I touch the thermostat? No, you didn't touch the thermostat, but the right. house is kept at 3,000 degrees. You, and you were angry with me. Why were you angry with me? Literally because <laughs> I was cold and he wasn't. He was yeah. angry at me because yeah. I was cold. Even though I put a portable heater in the room so it didn't upset him, 
Not fair. You're, right, so, so anyway, uh, the house is 2,000 degrees, we had a row. Uh, no, Chloe was, no, 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 I didn't cut the service out. Right, Chloe didn't cut the but it was already set. So look, if you want to see more of our shenanigans, then tune in, um, well, the next time we do one, a lock-up video. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, share, head over to Chloe's uh, website, chloemade.com, for all fitness advice and training advice. Um, and if you like DJing and listen to my live streams on my YouTube channel, we'll catch you soon. Love you all. Say bye, Chloe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>